Hi, I'm Sue. Today we're going to learn how to make hot and sour soup just like they make it in the restaurants. And the key to that is fresh whole ingredients. So what we're going to do is we're going to heat up some canola oil in a saute pan. Uh, we're going to take our fresh ginger and to get the skin off, there's many different ways to do that. But what I like to do is take just a plain old vegetable peeler and we kind of just take some of that papery skin off like this. And then we're going to zest it. We're going to use actually a hand grater. So we kind of do this over the pot, and what you're going to get is some of this nice minced up ginger. We'll put that in there. Our next ingredient is chili paste, and it's very, very hot. So if you don't like your food really hot and spicy, don't put a lot of this in there. So we're just going to stir that around, and the oil is nice and hot. And why am I putting my spices and herbs in early? Because I want to get those flavors out of it. And now it's time to add my pork. This is going to go in a soup, so you don't want a big piece. You want a nice bite-sized piece. So we're going to go ahead and toss that in there. And this is one of the ingredients. I always used to go to Chinese restaurants, and I loved the soup, but I could never figure out quite what that mushroom was. This is an oyster mushroom, and oftentimes they use a wood ear mushroom. Um, so we're going to go ahead. We're not going to chop it too fine, just a light chop, because you want them, the pieces relatively large. And we're going to go ahead and toss that right in there with our pork. Uh, we also have white pepper, and you find it a lot in Chinese and Japanese cooking. Um, so we're going to put a little bit in there. Since we already have some of our chili paste, I don't want to put too much in. So we go ahead and we're going to put two quarts of the um, beef stock in there. And then we're going to kick the heat up really high because we want to get that soup super hot. Wow, I can smell that. It's just a wonderful smell. All right, now we're going to go ahead and add our tofu. And again, uh, chop it up small into bite-sized pieces. Um, and you want to drain your tofu, too, before you actually cook with it. And this is something my kids absolutely love. For years, they thought they were eating blocks of cheese. I, had, I didn't have the heart to tell them they're actually eating bean curd. Now, this is almost to a boil. So I'm going to go ahead and add my thickening agent. The thickening agent that I'm using is cornstarch. All right, now our soup is come to a boil, and I'm going to add a few last ingredients. Soy sauce, naturally brewed soy sauce. Don't buy the, the flavored water, basically. You, if it says naturally brewed on it, you've got yourself a good soy sauce. So we're going to add about a quarter cup, and just keep stirring while you're adding these ingredients. Now we're going to add a quarter cup of rice wine vinegar, and that's what gives the hot and sour soup the sour part. If you like it really sour, add more uh, vinegar. But I'm just going to add about a quarter cup for now. Our last ingredient would be egg. And you can't just dump the egg in. You've got to scramble it up as best you can before you go ahead and put it in there. And I get the soup up to a full stir. You want to really get it in going in a big circle because once we add these eggs, they're going to form little ribbons. And if you're not stirring it, what you're going to get more than little ribbons is scrambled eggs. And we don't want that. We want some nice, flaky, and you might make a little mess. It might go over the side. That's OK. And there you go. You see that wonderful? They're like little tiny shreds of ribbons. You've got the pork floating in there. It's delish. And then we get to take our bowl. And I always like to take nice, colorful bowls that kind of contrast with what I'm making so that really shows it off and you ladle it right into your soup bowl. Make sure you get a lot of those nice wood ear mushrooms, some of that pork tenderloin. And of course, presentation is everything, folks. So we're going to go ahead and garnish it. And remember, I said fresh herbs go in at the end. So we're going to put a little green onion in there. And then we'll take a few snips of fresh cilantro. And cilantro is kind of like uh, parsley. Um, more, uh, you find it in Mexican and uh, uh, Chinese cooking as well. So that is it. You've got your hot and sour soup. It looks like it came right out of the restaurant. restaurant so enjoy.